Guns, and then on to uh, Mr. Cumming again. Uh, Guard, six minutes. Oh, great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and through you, I'd like to ask questions of the minister. Minister, can you tell us what percentage of small businesses does the government expect will go under in the next few months? Well, thank you so much for this. Um, our job right uh, from the get-go is to support our Canadian businesses. I think you've heard me say this publicly, saving mm -hmm. business and saving jobs. That is what we are steadfastly Just looking for a number. To do. Do, do you have a number? Uh, does the government ha have an analysis based on the, the current suite of rollout? Do they have a number of percentage of businesses that will be expected to go under? Well, my focus and the government's focus is to keep uh, keep supporting them. Okay. Uh, to the minister, uh, Mr. Spe uh, Mr. Chair, on April, uh, early April, my colleague, uh, Mr. Julian, and I presented a proposal around the Canada Emergency uh, Rent Relief Program to the government. We cited Australia as an excellent model where they're a federation like Canada. They were able to negotiate a, a rent eviction moratorium. Uh, and they put that in place. We were great and, and very happy uh, to, and honoured to see that the Prime Minister honoured that proposal a week later. Um, but five weeks after that, he, he still hasn't amended the part around an, an evictions moratorium. Has the Minister put this as a, a priority in negotiations with the provinces? And or will she be doing that? I'm really... Um we have been working with the provinces and the territories on this program uh, in respect of uh, their jurisdiction, of course. I know that the Atlantic provinces have, uh, some Atlantic provinces have uh, implemented a moratorium on evictions. We, of course, continually will work with the provinces to make sure that uh, that uh, that this program is going to be effective uh, so that small businesses can get their 75% reduction. Our concern is that, that the government didn't make it a priority, that actually they didn't hold the provinces to that when they negotiated Negotiated this arrangement. You talk about Jay Sussman. Jay Sussman owns Taco Fino in Tofino. He's got about 10 small businesses throughout the province of BC. They're very uh, important employers and uh, as tourism is a very important industry, um, only one out of his 10 landlords is willing to play ball, which I think is really disappointing considering that Jay closed his doors for public health and now he's being expected to bear the brunt of 100% of the hit of COVID. What is the government going to do to get these landlords to the table and the minister talked about the first step is the second step going to be a program to support jay and many people like him where their landlords aren't going to play ball well i'm pleased that the application is open on monday I have, uh, you've heard me say this, the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Minister, how important it is to support these small businesses like Jay. They, they need to get supported with the 75% rent reduction. That's what this is about. And we're going to keep working on this. Uh, I think we have a track record of continuing to listen to businesses and, uh, and our colleagues and working together so that we can, in fact, do what I think we all agree, which is okay. to help those businesses. We, we appreciate that. It's been five weeks. Time's running out for these people. We need the government to react quickly. They keep designing programs to make sure that, uh, you know, people... That, that they're basically they're complicated programs that cut people out instead of helping the people that need help the most. Um, we've heard from Save Small Business, they did a survey, 67% of them said that the rent subsidy is most important to them. 54% say rent relief would save their business. This is, this is pretty scary. Only a third of them actually believe their landlord's going to apply. So we, we need this fixed. Um, we, we are hearing that the LEAF requirements are, are actually going to be, there's many, many obstacles to small business applying for these uh, programs that you're rolling out, but less when it comes to the big corporations. So we're deeply concerned that the government is, is creating these obstacles for small business. Can you explain why the threshold is a 70% drop in business for the commercial rent assistance program instead of 30% like they did with the Canadian uh, wage subsidy? We know anyone who's lost over 30% in revenue is going to have almost impossible chance of surviving this crisis. Well, I want to start, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Johns, but I want to start very first of all uh, to thank the many hardworking civil servants who have steadfastly through this period of an enormously challenging period to step up and to do the incredible work that they have in supporting the government and indeed Canadians to make sure that programs have been designed, have been iterated, have been improved upon so that we can get that help out to 
Canadians. There is nothing more important to me, nothing more important to me than helping I, I Canadians. Under, I, I, I appreciate the civil service it, too, uh, Minister, but the, Minister the, was the, it the, the, yeah. uh, the Minister has a little more. She has got okay. about 40 seconds yet. Go ahead. Minister. Well, nothing. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, nothing is more important to me than making sure that that support is there for small businesses. You heard me say that they are literally uh, the dynamic backbone of our communities. And uh, and we're going to keep doing this work as we need to. The range of programs right now, helping them save their employees, helping them with some cash flow, making sure that they get the 75 75- percent rent support that's what we're going to continue to do time for one more question mr johns okay okay minister i don't think it's up to the public service to be determining the 70 percent uh, drop in bit revenue or 30 percent. that's a political decision and we're looking to you to fix that so that people don't fall through the cracks um the other part is the business account requirement uh, i've got a, a diner in my writing top spot diner they've got hundred and forty thousand dollars in payroll and yet the government won't recognize them for many of the programs that they're rolling out, including the SEBA account. And this is happening in urban centers throughout the, the country as well that can't uh, access any support. Will you fix this simple requirement? Uh, I think it's very important. You said that you're willing to look at this. You've done some work on SEBA and you've been listening on some of the changes, but this is a simple change. Will you fix it? Yes, Madam Minister. The answer is that we will continue to work with our small businesses to make sure that they are supported through this. Um, the personal account uh, is something that we already committed that we are uh, that we are going to do, and we're just sort of working through um, we're working through the final pieces to make sure that that's uh, available to uh, to those hardworking entrepreneurs and business owners. Okay, uh, thank you, uh, thank you both. Uh, going on.